friends it's been a while it probably doesn't seem like it because you know behind the scenes is totally different than what you guys see but i've been out of it the last week ever since the backlist readathon ended i have not been doing so well mentally like my mental health has definitely taken a nosedive i feel like i'm slowly but surely coming out of it but today is March 23rd and it is the release of Every Value Break by Peter Swanson and I did pre-order the book however for some reason it's not going to arrive at my house until Thursday and <laughs> screw that noise. I want the book today. I finished a book last night um, so I could immediately start reading it on release day and it's one of my most anticipated books of the year and my friend Jacqueline of course had an early copy and she's read it and she rated it five stars and that's amazing because she's super hard to give out five stars especially like in thrillers I feel like. Um so yeah, so I pretty much need this in my life ASAP. So I am going to go to Barnes & Noble today and pick up a copy and then cancel my order. So sorry to that bookstore, but I wanted it today. That's why I pre-ordered it. All right, we're on our way. success. So freaking happy that they had a copy and that I was able to cancel my order. I feel bad about doing it a little bit, but you know, anyway, um, went to Barnes and Noble, went a little crazy, got six books, no seven books. And I'm only going to show you the one, but the one that I went for, I got Every Value Break by Peter Swanson. I have read a couple other Peter Swansons. Let me grab those. Okay, so I grabbed the two that I read. Um, I read The Kind Worth Killing by Peter Swanson. And this one was really good. And I read Before She Knew Him. And I also really liked this one. Um, so I'm hoping that I love this one as well. Um, I've heard not to read too much of the synopsis. Avoid the synopsis at all costs. Um, I just recommend that in general for thrillers. <laughs> like some things that aren't spoilers necessarily, but they could be shocking revealed to you while you're reading reading if you don't read the synopsis. So don't read the synopsis. I'm not reading the synopsis, but I did talk about this on my podcast, Talk Book is To Me with my friend Jacqueline as one of my most anticipated books of the year. I'm the one that convinced her it was worth to give a shot. And the reason why this was even on my radar, besides it being Peter Swanson, is the cover reminded me of The Guest List by Lucy Fowley. So here is a side-by-side -side comparison. This one is definitely a little bit darker in tone but I think it's just like the dark gray and then like the building you know and the rocks so yeah there is a side-by-side -side comparison but other than that it is totally different um this is about a man and a wife that are gonna get married but before her honeymoon she like has relations with another person and then he shows up on her honeymoon so I'm really excited let's go ahead and start reading all right, I just read the first chapter and it's already interesting because it opens with her recognizing a guy that she slept with on her bachelorette um, weekend, night, what does it say? Um, her bachelorette party is when I guess she met him and yeah, so um, she recognizes him in New York, but I guess he lives out in California. And she also receives an email from him that says, you know, sorry to write you so soon before your wedding. I can't stop thinking about you. Um, he promises that if she doesn't share similar feelings, he'll leave her alone. And she kind of pushes it off like... Um, Maybe he's in New York for a different reason and he's not really here stalking me. So yeah, and then it kind of just gives a little backstory how they met and stuff like that. So yeah, I'm already invested and I've only read the first six pages. Also love that the first chapter is short. 
Alright, I thought I could give you guys an update. I'm on page 107, starting chapter 13, and I'm really, really enjoying the story. It's fast-paced. There's short chapters. There's not a lot of over-description. Um, there's not a lot of scenes that, like, or any scenes that really drag. Um, it's just, like, the perfect pacing, the perfect amount of detail, the perfect amount of mystery, the perfect amount of intrigue, and, yeah, I'm just really excited excited to see where it goes. Of course, this video, no spoilers, so I can't really tell you what's happening in the plot, but I just like the plotting and the pacing of this, and I'm really, really enjoying it. So, I'm about to sit down and have one of my favorite desserts, which is Italian ice, and this is the watermelon flavor. So, I'm going to eat this and read my book, and I will keep you guys updated. All right, quick update. It's very loud outside. My neighbors are getting some of their stumps ground down to the ground. I am on page 183. I am making progress, guys, and this book is crazy. There is so much happening, and it's so fast-paced, and everything is interesting, and there's like, not like big, huge twists or anything, but there's like little things that happen that you're just like, Oh my gosh. So I'm just so interested to see where it's all going to go. And my plan is that after I read it, I want to read the synopsis on the inside flap of the book and see like if it spoiled some of the things. Because what I knew of the story going in kind of has already happened, but there's like other things going on too. Like kind of two other things, maybe three other things. It's just crazy. Oh my God, you guys. I'm only on page 191. I'll be moving on to 192 and I knew it. I knew there was something fishy happening and it's so good. This book is pedal to the metal nonstop. I'm on page 205 and I just can't stop reading. It's so good. Oh my God. It's so good and there's just I just closed the page, the very last page. It has an epilogue. I don't want to say too much because I feel like when things are really hyped up, my expectations go really high and then I'm let down about a book or vice versa. If someone says like a book really sucked, if it's even slightly good, I'm like, oh my God, five out of five stars. So I don't want to hype up the book too much, but I am rating the story five out of five stars. It was a heart pumping, thrilling thriller. Um, and I really, really enjoyed it. Like I said, don't want to pump it up too much. Go out and purchase this if you're slightly interested. If you're looking for a new thriller, highly recommend this. That's all for today's video. Thank you for watching. I hope you're all having a lovely day or night and I'll see you guys again soon. Bye.